asked AJ the same thing, but just you had guys like Matt, Sam, you and him last year, veteran guys, kind of rally around losses or even after that Arkansas game to kind of right the ship. What, who's kind of been that voice or has it been a collective group after LSU and then this past weekend to kind of just make sure that the tunnel vision's on? Yeah, I think it's been more of a group effort this year, honestly, more so than the past years. And we have a lot of veteran guys that have played. And um, so I think from that standpoint, we kind of have it kind of figured out. We kind of have an idea of like, you know, this is our leadership group. These are kind of the older guys to look up to. So I would definitely say it's more of a group effort this year. Has it been a mix or is there some uh, maybe some portal guys that have older guys from somewhere else that have kind of taken that up a little bit this year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, me personally, I feel like I, that's one area I've definitely grown into is kind of being in that. Uh, you know, leadership role. Eli Acker's done a great job with it. Uh, Jackson, as a quarterback, obviously has a very important voice. Mingo's done a great job with it as well. So I, I think this year it's been more of a collective group effort than in previous years. How would you evaluate the uh, offensive line play from this last game? You know, I thought we actually did a pretty good job. Uh, towards the end of the game, obviously, we allowed a little bit more pressure than previously. But I thought we did a really good job uh, coming out early and kind of asserting ourselves into the game. and. Um, kind of playing behind our pads, getting our feet moving, and really trying to finish blocks and kind of setting a tone. It looked like in the second half, Alabama's defensive front adjusted on pass protection that maybe one of their tackles was spying on Jackson. They, they, they intended not to let him break out of the pocket and rush. Did you feel that as you were trying to block up front? A little bit. Um, I think more than anything, they kind of ran more twist games in the second half than previously in the first half. Um, that's something we definitely need to correct and kind of get in order. Um, but I think that was kind of the main thing is kind of some of the pressures they brought were a lot different in the second half than the first half. They, they adjusted to what we were doing. After such an emotional game uh, that didn't go y'all's way, is it difficult to get up for the next game, or is it one of those things where you're just ready to get there as soon as possible to get that taste out of your mouth? Yeah, I think more so it's you're just ready to play the next one. You know, we, we evaluate the tape. We kind of get ready for Arkansas, and now it's just all the focus on Arkansas because um, it's such a, a long season, but at the same time, you know, it's a quick transition week to week to, um, you know, we're fortunate we get to play another one. Um, we get to play this weekend. We get, we get to go up to Arkansas. So. Um, that's what we're really excited about now is getting another chance to play another game. I'm not sure how much Arkansas film you've, you've watched right now up to this point, but uh, what, what stands out to their defense if you've looked at any film? I think the things that really uh, stand out is how disciplined they are. Um, they're always in the right gaps. They're always playing where they're supposed to be, and they always do a really good job of flying to the ball. And they, they, you can tell they just love to play with each other. You know, they, they fly to the ball. They, they, always have like, you know, it seems like eight hats around the ball carrier and they're really disciplined. They don't really jump out of gaps or make any mental errors. Well, what do you remember from that Arkansas game last year? Being on the offensive side, obviously points were, were important in that one. Yeah, definitely. Last year was definitely a shootout, uh, to say the least, um, by both teams. You know, they were going point for point with us and it was just down to the last second, literally. I mean, they had the ball going for two as time has expired to try to win the game. Um, two really good teams going at it, and it'll be the same thing this Saturday.